What's up everybody? My name is Ruby and welcome back to this week's episode of Ruby's Final Score. If you're new here, basically each week I go over the top sports headlines and give you guys my opinions of everything that's going on. So let's get right into this week's episode of Ruby's Final Score. Okay, so first off, I want to say sorry, I've been a little bit MIA the last few weeks. Thanksgiving, I decided to take the week off, and then my family had some COVID scares, so I couldn't head into the studio, but I'm back now, better than ever. Also, a little bit of shameless promo, if you haven't noticed, I've been doing Vlogmas, aka daily vlogging from December 1st to the 25th, so make sure you check out those videos as well. Now on to this week's headlines. First up in the NFL, we had a couple of crazy games in week 13, and I'm sure you all know which one I'm going to hit on first even though I would rather forget about this game. The Pittsburgh Steelers are no longer undefeated after a 23-17 loss to the Washington football team. It's still so embarrassing to even say this out loud. Pittsburgh receivers just couldn't catch the ball. There was no run game with the game total ending up being just 21 yards and they just could not get anything done in the red zone. The defense looked good, but after several injuries, including Bud Dupree, who is out for the season, Roberts Belaine getting hurt, who is in as a replacement for Devin Bush and Joe Hayden out with a concussion. I'm honestly pretty nervous going into week 14 where the Steelers take on the Bills in Buffalo on Sunday Night Football. The Jets almost got their first win of the season over the Raiders, losing 31 to 28 with a last second touchdown for the Raiders from Derek Carr to Henry Ruggs. The Jets honestly could have won this game with quarterback Sam Darnold passing for two touchdowns, but only 186 yards versus Derek Carr's 381. The Jets run game dominated with running back Ty Johnson having a career high 104 rushing yards and a touchdown, but in the end, it came down to Derek Carr's great pass to Ruggs as the Raiders advanced to 7-5 and five, and the Jets continued their losing streak, in line to be the third NFL team to ever go 0-16. And last up for this week's craziest band of upsets or almost upsets in the Jets case, the Giants beat the Seahawks 17 to 12, knocking the Seahawks out of their number one spot in the NFC West. Even more crazy, they did it with their backup quarterback. Colt McCoy was in for Daniel Jones after he suffered a hamstring injury last week. McCoy only passed for 105 yards and one touchdown, but it was somehow enough to take down the now 8-4 Seahawks. The Giants defense also stunned the Seahawks, sacking Russell Wilson five times. This Giants team wasn't perfect, but they show that they have what it takes to beat real teams and that they definitely deserve that top spot in the NFC East. In other news, we have some more sports starting up soon, along with college basketball, which has been in full swing, kind of, for a few weeks now. Recently though, Duke men's basketball head coach asked the question that honestly we've all been thinking, should there really even be a college basketball season right now? Sure, I love seeing my Kentucky Wildcats play, even though we're not having the best season so far, but we have to think about player and staff health and safety, and from the spread of cases causing game cancellations already, I'm just not sure that the season was the best idea. Speaking of basketball though, the 2021 NBA season is officially starting on December 22nd, and each team will play 72 games versus the usual 82 because of COVID restrictions. We'll have to see if they stick to the bubble method again this season after it proved very effective last season, but resulted in players spending months away from their families. College football is coming to an end after a lot of cancellations and reschedules, but some championship games are still coming up. The ACC championship game is on between Clemson and Notre Dame, a great rematch after a crazy Notre Dame win over Clemson earlier in the season. The big difference, Trevor Lawrence, Clemson star quarterback was out that game, but is set to play in this championship game. You definitely do not want to miss it. Along with that, the SEC championship game is coming up between the undefeated Alabama and 8-1 Florida. Personally, I'd sure love to see Florida give Bama their first loss and during a championship game at, at best. Both games are set for December 19th with ACC battling it out first at 4pm and SEC up at 8pm. Unfortunately, the clock has run out for this week's episode of Ruby's Final Score. To recap what we went over, the NFL had some crazy upsets including the Washington football team ending the Steelers' perfect record. <sighs> the Jets coming so close to getting their first win over the Raiders, and the Giants somehow beating the Seahawks. 
We also have some sports starting soon, along with news about the college seasons currently taking place. ACC and SEC football championships are coming up on December 19th, and the future of college basketball is looking a little bit iffy right now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss an update each week. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you next week for Ruby's Final Score.